Look, Vanessa, there's a horse and horse. Just like a bra for my double chin. Look at that. What's happening, everybody? It's your boy, Wanderlust Wellman, back again. And a little ball of fury, Vanessa Coronado. And today we are in Fort Collins, Colorado. It's a college town about an hour north of Denver, where Colorado State University is. And it looks like a pretty cool place. So we're gonna explore via bikes. Vanessa rented a little mommy bike here with a basket. Maybe she can put me in there if I get tired. And yeah, we're gonna see some nature, see a little bit cool shops, and definitely hit up the breweries. I think it's the beer capital of the state. So we're definitely gonna get our drink on a bit. We are at Tasty Harmony. All right, so I'm still not over the awkwardness of hearing people record in public, especially my waitress. Which brings me to our next point. We are about to smash some banging food. Hold on, Vanessa. Wait, you little fatty. We got some poutine, the national dish of Canada, Santa Fe style. Thanks for waiting for me. And we got some seitan buffalo wings. And we haven't eaten anything today, so next time you see this, both plates will be 100% empty. I told you. Oh, so we smashed all that food. It's pretty darn good. I would give it like an eight out of 10, but um, it's a scorching day outside. It's like 90 degrees, it's sunny. So that kind of drains your appetite a bit. Feeling a little nauseous, me and the beaster over here. So next move, maybe get some ice cream, some smoothies, maybe something a little refreshing. Probably not smart to eat. Like, pretty much junk food. So we got a smoothie on the way. We're getting a little bit of R&R, &R, take us some shelter in the coolness. Um, roof is just forgiving enough for my height. Max it in relaxing in this cool little shop. We are right there. We come from right there. We should be right there. Okay, buy it. I like it. Oh, look. It tells you to be a classroom. <laughs> All right, we're feeling revamped, revitalized, but the day is not. It's gotten a little cloudy and overcast. So we're just walking. Vanessa's a fan. But your boy's not. So we're just walking down the street, taking a look at all the cool shops around and going to find our bikes. It's a pretty mural. Yeah, let's just throw some. All racked up. Racks on racks on racks. Is it a trip if Vanessa doesn't stop to smell the flowers? No. I'm feeling pretty antisocial, honestly. Honestly, sometimes art looks a little too real and it creeps me the F out. So the nice thing about wearing masks just like a bra for my double chin. Look at that. What's so funny? The weather is being very bipolar right now. Very temperamental. Sprinkling a little bit. Can't tell if it's gonna pour or not, but... <sighs> Fort Collins is awesome. I just wish I could do it over again because we got a late start to the day because the mess's bike was giving us problems. I was oh, going- I broke my freaking bike. I didn't do shit. She doesn't ever use it, so she didn't realize it was broken the day we need to use it. So me being the tinker I am, I was working on it, trying to fix it. It made it worse. Nah, at least you could stop. Or at least, I mean, at least you could go before you couldn't go. And yeah, we just found out this really cool square. Uh, I think it's called the something of an E, the exchange. And they got a vegan ice cream place, they got a vegan donut place, they got 
a bar with ping pong. They got breweries. But yeah, so next time we definitely want to spend more time here. But so far, so good. This is the famous New Belgium Brewing Company. They're popular for their fat tire beer, which I'm sure you've seen at a local bar before. And yeah, this is like Fort Collins and probably Colorado's most famous brewery. And it looks really freaking cool. Lots of open speed or uh, seating outside. And I would be in there tasting out some brewskis with the broski, but I ate so much ice cream and smoothies and junk food that I think I'm gonna save this for next time. Such a cool hangout, everybody. But yeah, this is the Hodge River, Hodge River in uh, Port Collins. And it's really pretty. I guarantee it's freezing, but you know, people are getting in there having a good time. And the coolest part is, it's like there's a little restaurant built up here. You've got a little counter, and then a little kind of bench seating area. So, you know, on a hot day, you can come here with some friends. You know, probably can't bring anything with ethanol in it if you catch my drift. And yeah, but just get some refreshing beverages, get in the water, come back up and hang out. More seating over there. You know, people are kayaking on the river. Good place to go tubing down and just, you know, relaxing on a nice hot day. Kids are waiting on you. Huh? Kids are waiting on you. Go. Yeah. Us men don't feel the cold. Come on. Come on. All right, Lusters. We are finished with Fort Collins, June 2020. Uh, it was a heck of a day. We ended up doing a lot. We underestimated all the things Fort Collins had to offer. So we gotta do some cool things. We definitely are, are already planning our next trip. But yeah, there's so much to do. Uh, we ended the day by biking up and down. Uh, this river is called the um, Quivre River Trail or something oh, like that. Quivre? <laughs> Poudre River Trail. Next time we wanna check out the Horsetooth Reservoir. It's like a really big beach surrounded by uh, like these uh, red cliffs or something. And um, so if it's sunnier and warm, we're definitely gonna hit that up. We want to get some donuts and coffee in the morning. Um, there's a possible eating challenge coming on the way. Um, there's a place called Big City Burrito where they uh, have like this really huge burrito called the Gut Buster. And it's supposed to be gargantuan, so I'm gonna try and shove that down my gullet. And oh yeah, of course, we didn't even check out any breweries today, <laughs> which I know I prefaced the video by saying, um, Definitely up the breweries. I think it's the beer capital of the state, so we're definitely gonna get our drink on a bit. Look at me, you know, making sure I do the quintessential things of Fort Collins. That's coming on the horizon pretty soon. Give it like a month or so, and we'll hit you up with uh, Fort Collins part two. Probably gonna be even better than the first part, but yes. my impression overall, really cool college town, lots to do and see, and I can't wait to come back. And I can't wait to show you guys. But until then, Take it easy, have a good 4th of July weekend, and make America great again. <laughs> okay, ow! Peace.